Hey everyone, happy Thanksgiving, happy Friendsgiving, happy fall break at Long Beach State. Uh, I hope you have a great week wherever you are and whatever you're up to. As we know, of course, this is probably the most unusual Thanksgiving, certainly the most unusual year of my life and very likely of your life. Um, I hope you're doing okay, you know, whether you're actually going to be with family or not or whatever you'll be doing this week. Um, I hope it's a week of uh, um, maybe getting a nice meal out of it and a little bit of rest. Some of you probably, I don't know if you'll be traveling. I'm not really sure what, how people are handling it this year. Um, some of you will be catching up on homework and exciting things like that. Uh, but whatever it is, I hope you have a good week. Um, as you know already, uh, for Art 110, I can't speak for other classes, but for Art 110, um, uh, there's, there's no class, of course, this week, and there's nothing due this week. Um, I thought I would leave you a couple of videos uh, that you could watch if you were so inclined. I was fortunate to be a speaker at TEDx CSULB 2017. Uh, there were 10 really cool talks, but I wanted to share two of them with you. Um, one by myself and one by a guy named John Bruna. Uh, my talk was uh, basically um, how, to, how to hack or reprogram your college experience. And John Bruna's talk was how to hack or how to reprogram uh, your own brain. So I thought, you know, re reprogramming college to make it your own and reprogramming yourself to, to, to be maybe your truest self might be two nice things you might want to think about over break. Um, my talk is really just that. It's, it's that there's a lot more flexibility in your college program than you're led to believe. And at least a few of you maybe want to take advantage of a little bit of that. Um, John Bruna's talk's pretty interesting. He, um, his message is that in a sense, if you've ever had a situation where something happens and you do something and then an hour later you're kind of upset with yourself and you're like, Ugh, why did I do that? That's so stupid. And you wish you had done something different, uh, responded, you know, more calm, more mature, or it doesn't necessarily have to be like a reserved thing. Maybe your friends were rock climbing and you were kind of afraid and you didn't join them and you wish you did. Maybe it could be you wish you were more outgoing, whatever you uh you 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 made a response in a moment that that you wish you hadn't or that you don't think is your best response and if you just sort of kick yourself and forget about it you're going to do the same thing um you know fight or flight this lower mammalian brain down here and what consciousness is you know consciousness is a tiny part of our brain it's not really the it's not a lot of what we do. A lot of what we do is kind of pre-programmed. Consciousness is for planning, working things out. Um, so if you want to respond differently next time that person who you always seem to scream at says something to you, you need to program in advance. So that's his message really, is that to be the person you want to be, you kind of have to make an effort to do that. The way he ends up telling that story, however, is through sharing his personal life journey. And it's an overwhelming story. Uh, the story of how he loses his daughter, it's, it's incredible. It's, um, it, it's really quite uh, a life journey that, that John Bruno went on. And I'm telling you this because his message about uh, about how to truly have free will is I think really important and powerful, but his story of his own journey is, is so powerful that it's easy to completely get absorbed in his story and miss the taking control of your own brain that he's trying to share with you. So anyway, here's two videos if you want to see them. Uh, one from me on uh, you know, reprogramming your college experience and one from John Bruna on reprogramming your brain. Um, if I can help with anything over break or ever, please obviously shout out. Um, 
Uh, you know, of course, if, if it's an Art 110 thing, you're going to ask me, but it could be a wider Long Beach State thing, or even if you don't really have a question, you just kind of want to chat sometime. Uh, you know, I think a lot, I think the, the pandemic has handled, you know, dealt different hands to different people. For some people who have been fortunate to not be sick, not be economically hurt, and, and maybe not be depressed about the whole situation, it's actually been a time to rethink things and maybe reorganize their life toward, you know, goals that they're more passionate about. So, it, it, you know, some people are like, they're, they don't want to say because they're almost embarrassed in such a difficult time, but it's like it's been good for them. But I think there are a lot of people who have just had kind of a, you might say, mild depression. You know, it's just, it's just kind of a bummer year. I think this will be a year that, that we remember for the rest of our lives, whether you're an old guy like me or even a young person like you. It's, it's obviously not the funnest year, but it is a year that, uh, that you know, kind of almost requires us to, to recalibrate what matters and what our priorities are. Anyway, um, I'm available to talk about anything, anytime. As, I, as I'm sure you know, we have all kinds of faculty and staff on campus who are also happy to talk to you. There is also CAPS, uh, Long Beach State Counseling and Psychological Services. I, of course, am not a licensed psychologist. I'm happy to talk, but there's you know, training I don't have, of course. Uh, but the people at CAPS are licensed psychologists. Um, you can call their line 24-7. If it's business hours, somebody who used to work in Brotman Hall was probably working from home now will answer. And if it's, you know, the weekend or evenings, the phone line rolls over to other licensed professionals. But there's always somebody to talk to you by phone, by email, whatever. So, you know, reach out to me if I can ever help with anything. We can talk by email. We can talk on Discord. I'm happy to hop on Zoom anytime and chat, but if there's anything I can do, uh, whether it's Art 110 or Long Beach State or just making sense of life in general and in a pandemic, i um, happy to help if I can. Happy to talk with you or point to resources or whatever else. So have a great Thanksgiving um, or Friendsgiving or whatever you're doing this week. Uh, be safe, be well, and I will see you next week. Bye for now.